my friend, and welcome back to Satisfactory. This is a sulfur node that you can manually harvest or throw a miner on to get sulfur. This is an industrial storage container full of freaking sulfur. It takes 15 minutes to analyze 25 sulfur in the mem. And once your analysis completes, you can get this little confirm message. The derived milestone can be found in tier four. Further research required for more precise use. So as she stated in the message, you can go into tier four now and you can click on explosives and you have five inventory slots that have been added, one arm equipment slot added, gunpowder, noblesse detonator, noblesk, and the sulfur scan update. After you're able to craft the noblesk, you can also put the noblesk in the MAM to further the sulfur chain and get into rifles. To get those noblest crafted up, you're gonna need to start with gunpowder. That's gonna require two units of coal, one unit of sulfur, and you can put them in an assembler or manually craft it at about 7.5 per minute. And using the gunpowder, steel pipes, and beacons, you can craft these noblest in a manufacturer or manually. And without overclockers, they're about three per minute. And even though it's a pain, you may as well set up a manufacturer for beacon crafting, which requires iron plates, iron rods, wire, and cable. Now that you have a metric ton of gunpowder and noblesks, you're gonna wanna put together a noblesk detonator in the equipment workshop, which is going to take five object scanners, 10 of the encased industrial beams, and 50 cable. Take the noblesk detonator that you just crafted and put it into one of your equipment slots, open it up, and it's gonna prompt you to reload. Press the R button and now you have your explosives that are primed. You can single click to toss or you can hold click after you reload to get like a little grenade toss back. And upon right clicking, you'll blow stuff up. The patch notes say you could blow up a variety of destructibles like these rocks, for instance. And I'm going to show you some of the things that you can and can't blow up. So as you can sort of tell from the montage, naturally you can explode trees and rocks, most of them at least, all of the small ones, and the blast radius is pretty impressive when you get right down to it. If it's not quite big enough for you, you can always launch multiples. You hit just R, and before you actually detonate, you just throw as many as you want. I don't know if there's actually a limit to this, I haven't tested it that thoroughly, but let's go ahead and put quite a few down. These plants do not seem to actually blow up, but all of the regular old stuff like the grass and the bushes and the smaller rocks all blow up and you can detonate them all in sequence like that and isn't it beautiful? I've also tried numerous ways to destroy any man-made stuff. So the conveyor belts, constructors, uh, power generators, miners, you name it, none of it seems to blow up no matter how many explosives you put on it. And it doesn't even affect the actual items on conveyor belts. Just like the berries, the nuts won't blow up. You can't destroy impure nodes, wiring, consumable pure nodes, players that have left your game. Oh, maybe you can kill them. Oops. Weirdly enough, you can use these things like foundations to just keep explosives set in the air. So you can set multiple explosives in mid-air to create traps and such. Unfortunately, if you actually get blown up by explosives, there's not a whole lot of jump that you can get from that. Just so to reiterate, I tried to rocket jump and this might kill me. Yep, <laughs> but not a whole lot of liftoff for the impact. Needless to say, you can use a lot of TNT. 
and do some pretty crazy stuff with it. And try to hit him. Just like that. You can even shoot him like Skeet if you're good enough. Just like that. You can stick them onto creatures too. Just like that. They'll just stick right to him. Even the lizard doggo. Yes, I did it for science. It was horrible. I don't recommend doing it. You can even stick multiples to these guys. And just let them all off at the same time and blow them to smithereens. And naturally, you could use them on these cracked boulders. Which are located all around the map to reveal caves and stuff too. And as soon as the debris clears, you'll see that sometimes you could get stuff like the yellow power slugs. Some of the weird biome specific stuff, like uh, whatever the heck these things are, don't blow up. You can blow up those stupid bug plants, just like that. You can let these babies go underwater. Using Ragdoll, you can actually go down to the ocean floor and see the explosion underwater. They behave just like they do on the surface. I haven't been able to blow up any in-game resources whatsoever. Even like these Mercer Spheres or the vines around it. You can blow up these little birdies. You can even blow up these weird things on the beach. All in all, the explosives are pretty fun and uh, if it would have a little bit of blast radius and get you a little bit further than what I just did, I think it would be even more fun. But hopefully they'll get some armor that allows you to maybe be a little bit more blast resistant. Right now we have multiple slots for hands, but no body slots. But the way that some of the awards are allocated saying plus one hand slots makes me believe that later on down the line there will be some extra body slots and some stuff to fit into them. At any rate, I hope y'all really enjoyed this explosives video, guys. Thank y'all so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljin signing off. And we'll see you next time.